Lancashire, was built on cotton. A new project aims to retell the story of how cotton was king. Stories of the World, it's a massive project aimed at bringing together young people with an interest in local history, fashion and textiles and creating a record of a Northwest's rich heritage by collecting the memories of people who worked in the mills. This is called Whitaker's Mill and it, <coughs> it used to be a cotton condenser spinning mill. When do you think this mill shot? 26. 76. 78. 78. 78. Yeah. It closed in 1978. There are still people living around this area who worked mm. here. Melissa, what have you found out so far then? Well, I found out that cotton comes from a plant, not a sheep. <laughs> <laughs> Is it difficult to get young people into museums nowadays? Yeah. It is, and it's not new. It always has been. But Melissa, mm. when was the last time you went into a museum? Apart from this project? I've never been to a museum apart right. from when I joined this project. That's the only time that I've been to one. There already has been lots of lots of research, hasn't there, about the cotton industry and stuff like that. How is this? How is this different? This is different in that what we intend to do with the whole project, and especially in Lancashire, is engage with young people in a way in which something like this has never actually been done before. This thing is called the six-cylinder devil. And it was the name that everybody knew them by, and they roared. Welcome to the devil's hole in the mill in 1942. This is how it works. There are spikes on each machine, which the cotton runs through. What we actually want to do is to encourage young people to become young curators. The heart is heavy, limbs unwilling, 15 hours for a couple of shillings. Wheels of industry forever turning, communities filled with a heavy yearning. The future's filled with hope and joy, a future for my little boy. Weave a future, hope and peace. Weave a future, hope and peace.